Rise Africa. It's always a pleasure to come here. And I thank God for all of you. I hope you have subscribed, please. Yeah, I thank the Lord. I have a message of the Lord today. God is so good and so faithful. Let us invite his presence as I start. Father, I give you honor. Who is like you? Jesus, your name is holy. Jesus, your name is righteous. Oh, we run to your name and we are safe, Lord. Oh, Jesus, thank you for dying for us on the cross. Thank you for redeeming us from our sins, Lord. Thank you for giving us a hope in this hopeless world, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for we know that our days are numbered. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us that we are just but ambassadors. We are passerbys, our king. And Lord, we know that soon and very soon we will see you coming back in glory. I pray for everyone, Lord, who will watch this, that, Father, you may remind them and that you may speak unto their hearts, that they may know you, and, Lord, that they may desire you and that they may accept you in their hearts. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, amen. I worship the name of the Lord. So I have a dream that I wanted to share with you quickly. Uh, it was on 18th. I think it was 18th, yeah? It was... Uh, eight. No, first, sorry. First of, uh, first of August. First of August, just the other day. I had a dream and I, found, I saw myself in... Uh, in the middle of the ocean. And then there was this great earthquake. There was a great earthquake. And as, as, the, as uh, you know, I, I heard someone speak. And I heard a voice remind me and tell me, because uh, my daughter had the same dream. So I heard a voice tell me, do you remember your daughter's dream? I know that was the Lord who was speaking. Do you remember your daughter's dream the other day? Because my daughter, like, two weeks ago, had, a, had the same dream. In her dream, and, and I had shared it earlier on. So in this dream, she found herself that they were swimming, and somebody shouted to them and told them, get out of the ocean. There will be an earthquake. And so they were running out, and they were warned. So I had the same, and in this dream now, the Lord was reminding me, do you remember of your daughter's dream? It's, and I knew when the Lord is speaking like that, it's going to happen. When, it, when you see some, some, some warning happening twice, then you know that it is, it is going to happen. So the Lord, I heard a voice say, a tsunami is coming. The same voice was saying, a tsunami is coming. So I'm just giving a warning of a tsunami. I'm just giving a warning of an earthquake. And I know that uh, men, uh, we have had, because if you read in Matthew 24, we are not alarmed. I know that right now we are hearing of so many things, but let me read Matthew 24, because that's where the Lord led me. It says, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon one another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and this shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye not you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall come against, rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes, and earthquakes in diverse places. I know we have, we have been having earthquakes. I know someone will say, you're not telling us anything new. We have been having earthquakes everywhere. But when you see the Lord warning of earthquake, then you know that there will be a major one. It's not these earthquakes we've been having. So don't just uh, disregard it. Pray. I am in America. And so I feel like that this is a, a warning for America. I don't know if it's for other nations. I don't know. But there's a warning of a tsunami coming. 
So the Lord is telling his people to prepare because the Lord is saying this is just the beginning of sorrows. It is the beginning of sorrows when you see these things happening. When we see these things happening, there's so many things we are seeing right now. And when you hear the be this the beginning of sorrows, then you know that the sorrows are not yet here. I know right now you say, what about this, the things we have seen? The Lord is saying, it is the beginning. I remember the Lord telling me this is the beginning of bad pains. The mother is about to give birth. I told you the beginning of the year what I saw, a woman about to give birth. And the Lord said, this is, this is the year of giving birth. So the Lord is saying that we are about to give birth. The world is about to bat something. The church is about to bat something. So this is just the beginning of sorrows. It's the beginning of bad pains. So if you are feeling some pain around, if you are seeing the things that are going on around, you are saying, I am tired of this world. You have not yet even seen what is about to come. I am not here to just, uh, to just come and lie to you and tell you, oh, no, it's just going to, we're going back to normal. It's going to be no, no. I'm here to warn you and tell you. When you see these things, look up, for your salvation draweth nearer. Your salvation draweth nearer. The Lord is coming. There was a dream that I had of the other day. Uh, my cousin passed, and then I had a dream that night before he was buried. And in the dream, I saw Jesus on the clouds. And he was coming and with this great light. And I remember in the dream, I was telling my, my, my siblings and my, my, my family members, look, he is coming. Can't you see him coming? I was warning them, do you see him? Here he is coming. Please get saved. Let us pray. Let us repent. So I saw myself kneeling down and I was repenting. I was telling the Lord, Lord, I don't want to miss rapture. Help me. I was praying because I saw him coming. And I remember that morning, my children, because when they wake up, they come to my bedroom, all of them. They came to my bedroom, and two of my daughters had the same dream that I had. They were telling me, Mom, I had a dream. I saw you kneeling down and praying because Jesus was coming back. Two of them, an eight years old one and the, and the 21 year old. They said they saw me praying. So, no, that, no, it's the middle one, the 14 years old, was the one who saw the, the, the dream. So, let me tell you, children of God, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. I am here to just tell you, when you hear the Lord warning us, because you know you have been having earthquakes, but when you see the Lord warning, and I, I have gone to YouTube and checked, and I have seen so many people speaking about it. So I believe when you hear the Lord speaking, it is for us to be warned, because prophets just come to say the things that are written in the Bible, and just to alert the people so that they wake up. So when you see a prophet telling you something, and you go to the Bible and it is not there, then run. But if a prophet is just a mouthpiece. And even when I have a dream, I have to come back to the, to the scriptures to see where is it written. Because every prophecy you give has to be written somewhere. So this prophecy is about us and warning us and preparing us for the coming of the Lord. Be ready for soon and very soon we will see our Savior. I saw him coming and he told me, he told me that day, don't mourn for your cousin. He, was, he has already conquered because I led him to Christ in his hospital bed. And the Lord told me, now cry for your heart. He has conquered. He has conquered. Will you conquer? Can you imagine? Cry for yourself. It is the same way when Jesus was on, the, was on the cross. And the mother was crying. And Jesus looked at him and said, Woman, behold your son. That means cry for your son. Me, I know where I'm going. But take care of your son. So right now the Lord is saying, take care of your heart. Take care of yourselves. I am coming back soon. All these signs you are seeing, they are the beginning of sorrows. I, am, I don't know when he is coming, but I'm here to just tell you he is coming. All the signs that we are seeing happening, and even him giving, us to, giving them to us in dreams, it is for us to prepare. It is for nothing else. It is not for us to boast. It is for us to prepare. That even when it comes, when we see the earthquake, we know, wow, he warned us. He said, this is a sign of his coming. So if you have not given your heart to Jesus, repeat this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my heart to you. I believe that you died on the cross for me. Remove my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I belong to Jesus. I will serve you, Lord. Holy Spirit, fill me. 
If you pray that prayer, it's that simple. You believe in your, believe in your heart that you've gotten saved. And read your Bible and stay ready. Cleanse yourself for he is coming. And remember, Africa, it's your time. Arise, Africa. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen.